I love the Halloween franchise. That's some of my favorite horror movies to sit down and watch Michael Myers slice and dice a bunch of people. And like any other movie fan, I've of course looked up what movies have been cancelled or just not made in this franchise. So I can reminisce on what we could have had. So that's what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about the cancelled Halloween movies. Let's get into it. Right, so the first film that I wanted to talk about is called Halloween, Pinhead vs. Michael. Now, I know this sounds really goofy, but it would have been hilarious just to have Pinhead and Michael Myers beating the crap out of each other in a, a movie. Like, I watched Freddy vs. Jason again the other night, and oh my god, it's even better than the last time I watched it. Sure, the characters are a bit dull, but just watching two horror icons beat each other up is just amazing. But yeah, so, this movie was only going to be made because of Freddy vs. Jason. Which, yeah, makes sense. That movie made a load of money. But basically, this guy named Dave Parker bids the script to Dimension Films where Sam Hain, the Lord of the Dead, escapes hell when young Michael Myers came across the lament configuration and possessed his body, which is why he can't die. And the story kicks into motion when some characters find the box inside the Myers house. They solve it, and then Pinhead shows up, realises who Michael is, and they square off against each other. And the finale takes them both to hell. Once again, kind of Freddy vs. Jason 2-esque, you know, that one where they were going to have Ash in it as well. But I think this would have been really funny, just to see Michael Myers and Pinhead, two completely different characters, two completely different franchises, beat each other up. I mean, we all know that Michael Myers would have won, because he's Michael Myers, but, you know, there's an argument to be made that Pinhead could have beat him because, well, he could just summon chains and torture weapons out of thin air, I guess. So, you know, that would have been cool to see, but thankfully um, that didn't happen because that kind of would have ruined um, Hellraiser more than Hellraiser already ruined itself. But yeah, so the next Halloween movie I've found was a script pitched by Phil Rosenberg called Halloween 666, The Origin. So, it would have found Michael living as a homeless man five years after his last rampage, until a reporter came to town and with the help of Tommy Doyle finds out she's another sister of Michael Myers. And now I know what you're thinking. Yes, this does sound a lot like Halloween Ends but with a female lead. Yes, I also thought that until I saw that this movie would have had Tommy Doyle with a virtual reality program that lets him see Michael Myers' cursed family. That's a bit weird even for this franchise, which literally has thorn cults, um, random guys being beaten up by four teenagers and thrown off a bridge then somehow killing Michael Myers himself. He doesn't kill him, but, you know, I'm just making fun of Halloween and it's my favourite thing to do at the moment. But, um, yeah, the next one is short because there isn't really much information about it. And this movie would have been called Halloween Asylum. It would have focused on Michael Myers while he was on death row. And he then broke free and wrecked havoc on Smith's Grove Sanitarium. And the script was never picked up. Now, I, I'm kind of confused by this because, like... I'm not sure asylums are supposed to have death row parts. Asylums are supposed to specifically be for, like, mental patients who can't help themselves. But also, you know, you do have the occasional Michael Myers type in there. But I don't think they're supposed to be held in an asylum until they get killed. They're supposed to be in a prison. So, I mean, maybe if it was Halloween prison and it was Michael Myers on death row in a prison and then he killed all the prison... Guys, uh, maybe that would have been picked up. You never know. But yeah, the next movie is very well known. Because it was going to be Rob Zombie's third Halloween movie. A.K.A. Halloween 3D. Anytime I hear 3D now, it just makes me think of the Piranha franchise. Where you got Piranha 
then you got Piranha 3D, then you got Piranha 3 dd which is somehow worse than the 3D one. But yeah, this one's actually really well known because there's still loads of people who want it to happen, even though the second one was pretty bad. Like, you know, I love Rob Zombie. I love his music. I love his movie. I love House of a Thousand Corpses. The Devil's Rejects is a goddamn masterpiece, and 3 from Hell is okay. But, like, Halloween 2 was bad. But just talking about this movie, because instead of Laurie stabbing Michael to death, it actually retcons the ending of the second one, and she's actually stabbing Dr. Loomis's body. And the first act sees Michael and Laurie run away together, pursued by police. Which, yes, does kind of sound a bit like the ending of The Devil's Rejects, except it's not really a standoff. And Michael just kills a bunch of people throughout this first scene before he's set on fire and he vanishes. Laurie's then committed to an asylum and the script jumps ahead in time. And the first act was intended to be a warp that wraps up loose ends of um, Zombie's take of the second one. Now, most of the 3D takes place in the hospital with the head doctor being a role that was supposed to be for Tom Atkins, aka the guy who played the main character in Halloween 3. But that didn't happen. It also would have had a scene where they literally play the Silver Samrock scene to kind of like pay homage to how in that movie they play the original Halloween movie. And yeah. <laughs> The rest is even worse. Eventually, though, Michael returns, leading to many gory kills and a bleak showdown in a concert designed to look like a giant pumpkin. Now, I'm just saying, this concert, if they made this movie, should have had Rob Zombie playing in it, because that would have been really funny. Like, imagine him just playing, like, Dragula or something, and then, <laughs> and then Michael Myers walks in and just kills him. That would have been hilarious. But, yeah, Laurie then commits... Um, a word I can't say on YouTube, but it rhymes with soothing side. Um, to free herself of her brother. And Michael slaughters the rest of the protagonists before slipping into the night. Which, you know, that would have been okay. But, um, I don't know about half of that. It just seems a bit disgusting and a bit weird, which, you know, is pretty much every Rob Zombie movie, but... I don't think this would have worked, just because the second one was a bit bad. This doesn't seem much better. But yeah, let's go on to the last movie that I have to talk about, which was going to be called Halloween Returns. And this was actually really close to filming in 2015, but it was cancelled. But anyway, it would have acted as a sequel to the first two movies only. So it's basically just... Halloween 2018, but it takes place in the 90s or in the 80s, some point like that. And it also doesn't have bad sequels because it was never made. So, this, as I said, would have added to a sequel to the first two movies only. And the story would have picked up 10 years later in 1988 with Michael on death row for his crimes. Yeah, they love putting Michael on death row, don't they? And Officer Hunt, who played a supporting role in Halloween 2, was the main character with his daughter becoming Michael's target after he sees her attending his planned execution. Then the freak power outage leads to him escaping and he starts a new uh, massacre in the neighbouring town of Russellville instead of Haddonfield. So as I said before in this segment, this movie was about to be filmed but it was cancelled when Dimension Films lost the rights to the franchise. Then Blumhouse got it and they made the most recent trilogy, which ended on a very low note. But recently they got it back and are making a whole new cinematic universe of Halloween movies. I can't wait to see how amazing that will be. Hey, who knows, maybe they'll have like Elseworlds movies like Goddamn Marvel are doing now and you can have Rob Zombie's Halloween 3. I don't know, sequels to Halloween 4, things like that. I don't know, just something interesting. Yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this look into movies we could have gotten in the Halloween franchise, but never got because most of them would have been terrible.
Instead of this last one, this one would have been pretty cool. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys would like me to cover next. Um, I think about doing more videos like this, maybe with Nightmare Friday. Things like that, just to, you know, just something different other than just my typical review videos. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments below. Also, what would you guys actually want to see become a movie if they would ever make any of these into a movie? Or would you guys even have wanted to see any of these? I know I probably would have wanted to see Returns and Rob Zombie's Halloween 3, probably. But yeah, until next time, bye-bye.